Okay, in, in this video, we will show you how to complete the government application form, the DS-82. This is the renewal application for when renewing a U.S. passport. This form is completed strictly online and then printed out, so all the information is already pre-entered on the form, and it has its benefits of ensuring that once the passport is ready to be printed at the passport agency, there are no typos or no errors or no issues with the agent trying to decipher any penmanship or any penmanship issues. So your first step would be going to travel.state.gov. And at that point, when you click on travel.state.gov, this is the government's website. So you're going to click on get a U.S. passport. And then you want to scroll down to where it says I already have a passport and click on renew my passport. Once you click on that, you're going to scroll down again to number one, fill out form DS82. And we're going to expand that and click on form filler so that you can complete the form online. Yeah. Now you're on the government's privacy page, so you're going to check off the box and hit Submit. And under Complete Online and Print, you're going to hit Submit. And this information here is about the applicant. It's, you, it's about you. So you go fill it out. It's going to ask for your name, date of birth, place of birth, etc. So we're going to fill that all that information out, and then we're going to hit Next. Once you hit next, you're on your contact information, and this is your address, email, phone number. An important note, you have the option of choosing both a mailing address and a permanent address. If your mailing address is the same as your permanent address, that's fine, but if it isn't, make sure and, and state so on the application. This is to ensure that the passport is shipped to the correct address, and to avoid any issues with you getting the passport and avoiding any delays. The email is in case they need to contact you, and so is the phone number. So once you enter all that, you can go ahead and hit Next. And this is your travel plans. If you don't have any travel plans, you can leave this section blank and hit Next. But if you do, um, please do enter it, uh, as this will notify the Department of State that, of when you need the password by, and can sometimes work out into your benefit. So once you hit Next, this is your emergency contact. This as well is optional. If you don't have any emergency contacts, please, um, you can leave that blank. But if you do, we do recommend entering something there so that it can be on record in, case, in cases of emergency. So you go fill that out and you're going to hit next. And this is an important section here. It's asking what's your most recent passport. Have you ever been to see any of the following? So you have passport, car, book, card, both, and none. If you're doing a passport renewal, you should only be choosing one of the first three options. The last, if you have to choose the last option, you're in the wrong video. So it's going to ask if you, if you still have the book in your possession, and you're going to have to select yes, and then enter your issue date, as well as the name printed on the recent passport book, so your first, middle, and last name, exactly the way it's written on the passport, and the book number. So you see here, we forgot to select uh, um, an option if you still have the book in your possession, so when you hit next, uh, it will allow you to move forward to the next page. And it's going to ask here if your name has changed since your most recent book was issued, so you select which option. And now you're in your personal application review. You need to make sure that everything here is printed correctly. And then you hit next. And you're in your passport products and fees. So you can select passport book, card, or both. And it gives this here will give you a calculator as to how much your how much is owed to the US Department of State. So you can select your options accordingly based on when you're traveling, what you'd like to get. So once you select passport, book, uh, card, or both, you have your processing methods. These are all various processing methods you can use, uh, whether you're shipping it and wanting, wanting it expedited in two to three weeks, or you're going directly to an agency to get an agency service completed in eight days. And then delivery methods is how the passport, book, and the card is going to be shipped to you. So once that's selected, you hit Next. And this is your final page. So you're going to scroll down to where it says Create Form, and you're going to check the box off and click Create Form. And then that will download your completed government application form DS-82. And as you see, the first four pages are basically instructions as to how to get everything completed. But the last two pages are your actual application. 
So you're going to print that out. So I always recommend printing two copies, keeping one, keeping one for um, in case you lose it or damage it, or maybe even saving it to your computer. And also be sure once you print the application that you save, um, that you sign and date the application, as this can create a suspension with the with the agency. But that is all that needs to be done to complete your government application form DS-82. If you have any questions, feel free to enter it in the comments. So we'll be happy to reply to you and see if, um, how we can assist you. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you.